Hey guys, I am Roran the Werewolf and welcome back to Final Fantasy XII. I'm here in Lusu Mines, just fighting around, hoping to get the rare spawn for this uh, like little bat thing that comes in, coming in around here. Should be up here somewhere, maybe. Or down here. There's this red one. Ah, there it is. Airy Eel. Now this rare spawn in the Lusu Mines has a chance of dropping gold armor. So we're hoping for that. Now you don't want to have like uh, your poach gambit active if you ended up creating one. Like Fosh status, HP critical, poach. Because in order to poach you, their HP has to be like really really low. And if you end up doing that, if you end up doing that to a rare spawn that has a good drop, that drop won't happen because you'll get the poach item instead of the drop items. Yeah. So let's go ahead and and fight this thing. He also has nothing really good to steal, so I turn that off. Now, if we don't get it, that's quite all right, because you can buy it sometime later in Ravenester. Once you, like, advance a little bit more into the story. Oh, it didn't drop, but it gave us three license points. That's pretty good. Now... Let's go ahead and continue on with the story. The enemies in the Lusu Mines we have already ran into in the Bartham Passage when it was in its dark phase. Now if you watch that video of the Bartham Passage, it's quite a lengthy one. But it explains every single enemy, what they drop and uh, the mechanics of how that area works. Well, that's quite all right. Now, we're in a interesting part that you might want to pay attention if you come to the Lusu Mines. Let's take a look at the map. We are right now in Transit Way 1. Is that right? Transit wave one? Yeah. Now there's an area. There's a chest right here. You have a small chance of grabbing a killer bow, which is what Freyan is using right now. And it does pretty decent amount of damage. It's chest seven, I think, in the guide. Now, since I already have it, I don't have to worry about it, but you might have to save and exit to the main screen and then restart your save again in order for it to drop. Well, anyway. Now, the Bartham Passage, I mean the Lusu Mines, is another one of those areas that have a lot of, a lot of places that are closed off that you can't get access to until later on in the game. And I think... I think Gilgamesh spawns here a couple times where you're capable of actually stealing uh, the Genji armor pieces anytime you fight him. So that will probably come later. Much, much later. Now this area is really good. This part of the map is really good if you want to start up a chain sequence because all the same enemies just end up spawning here. Just in case if you didn't grab that one little sky pirate item in your den to level up your chain to 50. It's a really good place. 
As you can see, we're already up to chain six. And these things have a very quick spawn rate as you walk down this bridge. You also have to be wary of traps in the Lusu Mines. There's these like little glowing spots that you'll end up seeing if you have one of your characters Gambit as Libra. Which I have Fran cast on herself quite often. See if I can show you one. There should be a couple down here. We're also going to be... We're going to be into a kind of... I, I guess you would call it a boss fight, but it's not an official boss fight. Because the story, the guide, has you run away from this fight. Ah. Here's what the traps look like if you have Libra on one of your characters, so be wary of that. They do quite a lot of damage. I think some of them even do status effects too. Chain 16. Okay, I think we go this way to continue on with the story. Yeah. This is actually probably a good place to fight uh, the boss if you decide to fight it, because like I said, you can retreat from it. Or bosses anyway, there's four of them. Get them in closed spaces and have them have them like be weary with their with their stuff. Oh, nice little chest area right here. Don't worry, these uh, chests respawn as long as you start up the game again. So we're good with that. Okay, make sure everyone has protect. We're gonna actually make sure everyone is healed up too. So I'm gonna be using uh, my potions. I can't use them from the screen. But anyway, let's um, let's turn our shell gambit on too, because we want to cast that right off the bat. The enemies do magic. Ah, everyone's at a decent, uh, decent health. Alright, now I think we only need it for that one start. Let's go ahead and turn off the shell game, but too. We don't want unnecessary... Oh wait, since it's lower on the list, we don't... You know, I guess we don't have to worry about it. Yeah, alright, we're good. Let's get ready. This is what I came here to see. What's that? It's nethocyte. Manufactured nethocyte. Nethocyte? Unlike regular magicite, nethocyte absorbs magical energy. This is the fruit of research into the manufacture of nethocyte. All at the hands of the Draclaw Laboratory. So this is where they're getting the magicite. Errand all attended to, then. Thank you. I'll repay you shortly. No, you'll repay us now. We have too much on our hands to go on holding yours. So, where did you hear this fairy tale about Nethocyte? And where did you get that sample you carry? 
What do you know about the Dragdor Laboratories? Tell me, who are you? Balthier? You kept us waiting, Balthier! You slipped <laughs> away in Nalbana! We missed you! First to judge and know this boy! The whole affair has a smell of money about it! I may have to wet my beak a little! Keep your snout in the trough where it belongs. This thinking ill befits you, Bagamnon. Balthier! <laughs> Too long have I gone unpaid. I'll carve my bounty out of that boy. Where's Pinello? We're taking her back. The girl? Why keep the bait when you've landed the fish? We cut her loose on the way here, and then off she ran, crying like a babe. <sighs> ah! Hey! <sighs> After them! <sighs> Hey, wait up! We'll not be able to take them all. Fight who we must, leave the rest. Yeah, we're supposed to be running away from this fight, but we're going to be uh, attacking the weaker ones. So right now we're going to hold the fleeing thing. We're going to be attacking this crossbow guy since he does the magic. Uh, have everyone focus on that one first. Now, normally, if you weren't really high level in this particular part of the area, uh, you don't have to... You would definitely have to run. But, since I'm at a pretty decent level, I can go ahead and take them on. They're all focused on both here. That's quite alright. Come on. Come on. Okay, who's not attacking him? Everyone attack that one. Okay. Alright, now that one is down. We're gonna go to him. We're gonna have everyone attack. Oh, yeah, him. Have Fran cure. Okay, we'll probably need to back up a little bit. Have everyone catch up. Have everyone regroup a little bit more mana. And... Let's see... Items. We're actually going to be using a high potion here. All right, everyone tech. Renok. Everybody needs to focus on my target. Attack Renok. Attack Renok. And I think I'm gonna take control of Fran. To attack Renok from afar. Have them cure themselves while I peck him down. No, Fran. Attack Rinox. There we go. One more time. One more time. Okay. Now everyone focus on Bagway. Except for Balthier, you cure yourself because you're kind of low. There we go. 
All four. All four are almost down. Now you're just by yourself. You're just by yourself. Yeah, now you can see why you're supposed to run from this fight. It's quite difficult. He wrecked his, like, weapon. That's actually a pretty cool weapon. Now let's just bypass all these enemies. We don't really need to fight them. I see you've been out walking without the company of your cortege, Lord Lassa. We caught her wandering out of the mines. You must take care with such undesirables about. I was kidnapped! Silence! If it is a crime to wander on one's own, then I too am guilty. Marquis, I trust that your estate can accommodate another guest. Why not? Judge Geese, I shall heed your counsel. I will not travel unaccompanied any longer. That was unexpected. Thank you, Penelo. Uh, of course. What's Penelo doing? And what's the deal with that Lamont? That's no Lamont. Lassa Ferina Solidor, fourth son to Emperor Grammis and brother to Vane. What? That kid? Do not worry. I believe he will treat her well. Nobody knows men like Frandas. Our purposes lead the same way, to Andor. We must find means to approach him. The Marquis is channeling money to organizations opposing the Empire. We'll start there. Okay, now begins a part of the story, a part of the main quest that I really don't like, because it seems kind of cheesy in its own like little way. But now, after this part coming up, you have the chance of freely exploring the rest of the city, just in case if you come across anything that you missed. Marquis Andor announced my execution two years ago. If news of my survival were to spread, the Marquis may find his position compromised. The men he's been funding bear little love for the Empire. They won't be thrilled to discover that rumors of your death were, in fact, greatly exaggerated. If we were to raise a clamor to that effect, we might just get their attention. Nothing to it. I'll just go around town spreading the word. How about this? I'm Captain Bosch von Rotzenberg of Dalmaska! Well, what do you think? That certainly qualifies as a clamor. All right, Vaughn, get to it. For the girl's sake, eh? Oh, and the more people around to witness your little performance, the better. If we're going to reach the Marquis, it's up to you. We'll be waiting here if you need us. All right, we're going to definitely save it, explore the city, and then we will get right back into the storyline afterwards. And I'll explain how this mechanic works.
And now that I have explored all of the city and discovered that there are new items now in stock in most of the stores, new weapons, new armor, new magics. Um, well, there was a new technique, but no new gambits. So if you had any spare money from exploring the Lusu mines, you're capable of grabbing yourself something from there. Now, time to explain this notoriety thing. All right, first off, you can go up to any normal NPC and hit the square button to see if you can level up your notoriety. These normal folk, they end up only increasing it just a tiny bit. But these guys, these guys right here, the city Parajanas, <laughs> they end up increasing it quite a bit since they're basically like a town crier or whatnot. But if you're in close proximity to one of these guards while saying it, your notoriety goes back down to zero because they shut it down. So let's go ahead and start I'm leveling up all this stupid crap. Yep. 20% on that one. Let's see if we can find ourselves another one, which is right here. But well, we gotta be wary, there's a guard right there. I'm Captain Bosch von Ronsenberg of Dalmaska. So their their approximate distance is pretty decent. Now the notoriety does go down. If you haven't like actually Bosch lives! You know, kept up with it. But you can level it up pretty decently. If you do it this way. Let's see if we can find any more city guys. Oh, no, that's a guard. Ah. I'm Captain Bosch. There is also a new hunt a bounty that you're capable of grabbing inside the pub if you manage to go there. I'm the Bosch von Ronsenberg. Oh, that was a close proximity. Good thing. Alright, we just need one more of those uh, town criers. Let's see if we can find one. Oh, there's one right up here. I'm the Bosch von Ronsenberg. There we go. You boy, you will come with us. Oh no, this doesn't look good. This is the one, Havaro. Says he's Captain Bosch, he does. <laughs> he would sooner pass for the king. I knew he weren't no captain. That was a mean trick to be playing. If a trickery it ended, it would end well enough. But why this boy? And why Captain Ronsenberg? An explanation is due, and I will hear it. The Empire's hounds grow passing bold indeed. A shame if they learnt the Marquis trafficked with the likes of you. Agents masquerading as guides, a hideout at the back of a tavern? Not exactly earning high marks for originality, are we? Now you've done Wait. it! So Bash von Ronsenberg does yet live. So Vaughn really is all right. I didn't think I'd ever get to see him again. You will join him soon. And until then, I shall see that you are kept from harm. Thank you. I am troubled. The Rabanaster Imperial Guard appear to have overstepped their bounds. I intend to speak on this with the Consul. What? 
Vane Solidor, the Consul, is my brother. <gasps> the first duty of the Consul is to maintain order in Dalmasca. My brother... My brother is not one given to failure. Perhaps things aren't going as well as they might be, but give him a little time and he will put things to rights. Be not troubled. My brother is a remarkable man. He frightens me. Why? I'm sorry. He is your brother. It's just, you don't understand how much we lost to the war. My friends, my parents. So you fear the Empire? Listen to me. The men of my family, we are taught to place the needs of others before those of our own. I will see that you are kept from harm. It is my duty to House Solidor. But how? How can I trust you? Because I give you my word. My brother would do no less. I knew there must be more to it, but to find you at the end of this tale? <laughs> ah, to see the Marquis's face when he learns of it. I should like nothing more. I would meet him and see for myself. How say you, my lord? There is little to be said. I shall arrange a meeting with the Marquis. We shall expect you at the estate. Weird mumba kind of thing. That talks like a Middle Eastern guy. <laughs> Alright. Let's see. I guess it's time to continue on again. I've done everything I need. And let's see where we need to go. We need to go straighten up. Ah, we've met. been expecting you, his elegant See, the Marquis is awaiting. Take me to him. Are you ready for your audience? Yep, I'm ready. His Excellency, the Marquis, is otherwise occupied until sunset. Please, I will show you to a place where you may be in comfort. Sir Bosch von Ronsenberg, it was not so very long ago that I announced you had been executed. And that is the only reason I draw breath. So you are the sword he strung above my head. Vane has left not a thing to chance. And? A leader of the resistance has fallen into Imperial hands. A woman by the name of Amalia. I would rescue her, but I need your help. This resistance leader, this Amalia, she must be very important. You understand I have my position to consider. Would you let us see Larsa? He's got my friend with him. I'm afraid you're too late. Lord Larsa's cortege has already rejoined the Imperial Detachment. I am told they will depart for Rabanaster upon the arrival of the fleet this eventide.
for you to calm down. Captain Ronsenberg, surely the exigencies of position are not lost on you. Why, indeed, you should find the enemy's chains an easy burden to bear. Wait. Sorry. Can't be helped. Summon the guard. Huh? They are to be taken to Judge Geese. Those decrepit basking fools in Arcades tie my hands, and look what happens. I tell you, this country's obstinacy knows no bounds. The insurgents in Rabanasta operate alone at present. However, should they garner external support, the situation could worsen. We have found the counter-imperial elements in Bujerba to be conspicuously well-funded. No doubt Marquis Ondor is behind this. Ondor must be reined in. By the way, the Marquis has written us a letter. He claims that he's recaptured our runaway. He's given him to Geese. He will die by my hand. Your fraternity is moving. Ah, Geese returns with Larsa. Tomorrow morning they will leave Bujerba. See him home safely, Gabranth. Now I'm expecting Dr. Sid. You may leave. We must see the real thing, to be sure. Nabadis taught us much. Yes, it's well hidden. They'll be off chasing after shadows, the fools. Ah, yes. The reins of history back in the hands of man. Ah, Vane. You seem to be enjoying your job as consul. I was kept waiting fully two years. What news of Arcades, our honored members of the Senate? Hard at work, as always. Trying to find a dagger for your back. Hmm. <laughs> They are welcome to try. Prisoners, my lord! <sighs> Majesty. After what you've done, how dare you? You're supposed to be dead. Come now, come now. Have you forgotten your manners? This is hardly the courtesy due the late Princess Ashalia Benagin Dalmasca. Princess? To be sure, she bears no proof of her former station, no different than any mean member of the insurgents. The Resistance. His Excellency the Consul asks the Ministry of the Disthroned Royal Family in restoring peace to Dalmasca. Those who foster instability and unrest, who claim royal blood without proof, they shall meet their fate at the gallows. There are no exceptions. I will not play puppet to vain. King Ramanas entrusted me with a task. Should the time come, he bade me give you something of great importance. 
It is your birthright, the Dusk Shard. It will warrant the quality of her blood. Only I know where to find it. Wait! You took my father's life. Why spare mine now? You would have me live in shame! If that is your duty, yes. Stop being so stubborn. Keep on like this and you're gonna get us all killed. Don't interrupt. What? Vaughn, that stone. It, it was in the palace treasure. Well, well. <laughs> Splendid. You brought the stone with you. This spares us a great deal of trouble. Don't give it to him! Uh. Mm. You have to promise. No executions. A judge's duty is to the law. Take them away. My lord. Lady Ash is to be quartered separately. <sighs> Vain Solidor, what fascination does this hold for you? So you were carrying it all along, the fates jest. Tell these fates of yours to leave me out. Keep quiet! There was nothing else that I could do. You know that. Oh, I understand. Honor, duty, and all that. I still can't believe that was I a say princess. keep quiet! <laughs> <laughs> huh? Marquis has been busy. Not lightly did I beg his aid. Listen, it's been a full two years. I alone have kept Her Majesty safely hidden. I doubted friend and foe alike. I could trust nobody. You did your duty, and mine for me. I'm getting her out. I need your help. Of course. All right. And I feel like this is a good place to stop. Got ourselves arrested again. Again. I mean, come on. How many times do we have to get ourselves arrested by the damn Empire? <laughs> Fracking Star Wars. This is Star Wars and Final Fantasy. Ah. <laughs> uh. Gonna save it right here. I'm Roaring the Werewolf. Thanks for watching this video with Final Fantasy XII. You guys stay furry, and I will see you all in the next one. Bye!